Today is the 1st of December, which means it is almost Christmas, but this also means the Spiral Stage Lighting Christmas series has begun. I have been so excited for this series. I've been waiting since the beginning of 2018, basically. And I hope you guys are excited too, and I also want to let you know as well that I have put a lot of effort into this series financially, personally, and my time and stuff like that. So, if you could, please like and subscribe and turn notifications on, as that would be extremely appreciated and it also means more than you think so if you could do that that would be absolutely awesome and also everyone this is an advent calendar this is no ordinary advent calendar so basically all of these doors is a video so I'm going to be doing daily videos until the 25th of December which is Christmas Day I am so excited for this and also every three days I am going to be doing a live stream as well it won't be the same live stream it will be different and yeah I am so excited and let's get this series started started. Today's video I show you on how to and what to use to light up your house for Christmas So if you're really into the Christmas season, I've got some lights here what you can use Basically, this isn't gonna be a huge video and um, there's not that much um, lights here uh, the reason why is because these videos are daily and uh, Basically, I edit edit the thumbnail and upload in the same day and um, so sorry for the small But I will try and make it as fun and as great as possible. So yeah, so what we've got got here are four 250 lumen lights uh, these are weatherproof as well so these are usually used for like lighting up signs and also like little like uh, plants and stuff as well uh, as you can see here it also comes with a remote as well um, it has loads of functions like flash strobe fade and smooth you can also change um, the brightness of it and you've got the on and off button and all your colors here and you've also got white what's also cool about this is it you can also put it on little pods that stick into the ground. I sadly don't have the pods on um, on me, so as well, like, these are particularly new. I got these last Christmas, um, and I also took the pods out and I put them somewhere. And I have no idea where I put them, so I'm so sorry about that. But you can get these lights from, like, a farm shop or something. Uh, maybe a supermarket, I'm not really sure, but I'm sure they sell them at the range and stuff like that as well. Here are some cool um, lights as well. These are also weatherproof. So these do a really nice shape on the walls. It's, like, white, and it does really nice spots. They've also got a really big length, and they're also connected to each other, so you can't lose them. And same with these as well. They've got also a little pod you can stick into the ground, and they also split apart as well. Um, again, I have had these since last Christmas so again they're not very new. I haven't used these that much either um, because you know you don't really I don't really use them for anything else really than Christmas so basically we're gonna go outside set them up and see what it looks like so I will see you outside so right now it is 11 28 in the morning and it's also the first of December literally and also I was supposed to pre-record this video last night but I didn't get the chance to because it was raining it started to get really windy and cold and I just couldn't risk it and it was also getting really dark as well and I just want to make um this series really good so i'm just gonna record it today and see how it goes and i'm not gonna put him up right now because it's starting to rain and it's starting to rain pretty heavily um so i'm just gonna wait the rain off and then start setting up actually let's check the weather forecast you know i just realized who needs a computer when you've got the amazon echo alexa what is today's weather forecast right now in hebden bridge it's 10 degrees celsius with cloudy skies Today's forecast has clouds and showers with a high of 12 degrees and a low of We've got waterproof lighting, so I'm sure it'll be okay. It's not exactly waterproof. It's weatherproof, I'd say. You can't just dunk it in a pool and say, oh, now it works. But it works with the rain, so I'm just going to get a raincoat on, start setting up. I might use my GoPro, actually, wherever that is. I think that's in my camera bag. But yeah, hopefully today's video should go well. It doesn't really look like it's raining on camera, but right now it is raining like crazy why can't it just snow it's supposed to be christmas this is supposed to be snow now that'd be amazing if it started snowing you know that would make a really nice background when we're setting up some lights that'd be really nice my friend shared this with me on facebook like 
I'm not really sure why you would do this to me, Ben. Ah ha! Look at, look at this. Live video interrupted. Time has stopped, as we know it, people. Like and subscribe. So it's sort of stopped raining now. It's just drizzling a very tiny bit. Uh, let me show you where I'm going to put the lights, actually. So I'm going to put two of them LED lights um, pointing onto the walls. Creating a really nice uh, colourful light on this part. And then these lights are going to be going down here. And then they're going to be pointing up there. Make a really nice effect. It's like a snow effect. It's not particularly snowflakes. It's like, um, just think of it as like a, a spotted GoPro with a prism on. Sort of like that. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is just set these up down here right i've got these lights now i'm just gonna set them up also everyone i would recommend like if you've got like a, a small cardboard sort of material or some hard plastic i would recommend wrapping uh, the cable around it so it stays neat during when it's not christmas so i think this one is the sort of the shortest so i'm gonna put this one in first so this is what i like about these ones because they've got these Spikes so you can just put them in the ground. Also everyone these are uh, um, Weatherproof as well, so they can stand the rain snow Some and uh, stuff like that. Just gonna put them up like that This is not gonna be like a huge sort of light setup And um, this is only gonna be small, but this is sort of like a, a recommendation and a review video at the same time um, I'm not really sure what you could call this. So basically you've got these spikes you can just sort of put it down. You can make like a little hole, dig it up sort of. It's hard here, because it's not really that soft. I'm gonna try to get it in as deep as I possibly can. Also everyone, don't sort of bash it like this with your hand like this. Make sure your hands are down, um, because that can damage the top of the light. And then we can make proper positions when it's more darker. Now we're just gonna put this last one in. They can just sort of dig a little hole. So I've just set the lights up um, the best as I possibly could. The reason why they're sort of slanted is because the ground is pretty hard. It's not that soft. But I can make proper positions when it's darker. These lights are made out of plastic. So just be careful when you're putting them into the ground. Also, everyone, this doesn't mean these extensions are actually weatherproof. So what I would usually do is plug them in, turn, turn them on. And then what I would usually do is wrap it in like a rubbish bag, like the big black rubbish bags, maybe two or three layers and then duct tape it. So the water doesn't actually get in because it can damage the lights and also the extension. So for this next part, I would recommend something like this. This is called a safety chain. So people normally use these um, for lights in rigs. So if they fall, this would be protecting the light. If the clamp sort of snapped this would be just protecting the light so the light would just be dangling you can use these if you want for this next part it just protects the light more so it doesn't break and you can also get these off ebay or amazon for not even that much money to be honest so if you're wondering who made these lights uh, these lights have come from lux form lighting but i got this from a local farm shop so i think you can get this from a supermarket as well i'm not exactly sure it depends where you live but i wouldn't really recommend these for huge buildings either i would really recommend these for like your home or maybe a small commercial building so i'm going to show you how to put these on as well it's not exactly that hard at all so all you need to do is just put it through put it through here and then just put it over the bar and clip it in like that and then if it falls it's just dangling like this you can get small ones and you can get short ones of these but it just depends on how big the bar is and how big your light is so thankfully at the moment it's actually stopped raining so i'm going to carry on setting up the lights now so what I'm going to do is just unclip this for a second. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to put this on here. And then what I'm going to do with this safety chain is clip it around the bar. There we are. So that's secure now. That's going to be pointing on this part of the house. And then this part, I'm going to have one here, hopefully, pointing up there. And then what I'm going to do is put it on the bottom hook. That should be all right for now. It's just a bit messy at the moment, but I'll sort out the cables now. Also, something I do really recommend is before bagging this uh, extension up, just check to see if all the lights are working. So you see them lights are now working. All these lights down here are all on. So now we can bag the extension up. So I've got the bin bags here, and now I'm just gonna put one on for now. Plus I haven't got any duct tape at the moment, so I'm just using this. This does work as well. And then just sort of bag it up. 
the main thing you need to do is make sure this extent your extension is all right to be doing this because you don't want it getting too hot and then it starts to burn so please check the extension before doing this now I'm just gonna add one more layer on right so now that is fine nothing is gonna get in that what you can do as well is if you've got something like this this is really good as well so you can just store it in here but I don't think this plug is gonna fit in so now all the lights are set up and now I'm just gonna wait until it gets dark so then I can position the lights properly and then after that the light should be complete Whilst we wait until it gets dark, I do have a couple of things to say. First off, merchandise is still available at spiralstageline.com slash store if you want one. Second of all, we are almost at a thousand subscribers. That is crazy. So the goal was supposed to be to get to a thousand subscribers before July next year. We're almost already there. That it is absolutely incredible and you do not know how much it means to gain subscribers so if you could it would be so much appreciated just to take one second out of this video please subscribe as that means a lot it means more than you think it would be so much appreciated It should be dark enough to try out the lights and see how they look and um, so we're just gonna position them and hopefully they should look good so I'd say that's about right now you can't really see the them lights on the camera but you can see them um, from the human eye but this looks pretty cool as well that's looking good I just need to position that better so uh, the bottom light isn't actually um, shining onto the top light I'm just gonna quickly position the bottom light better So that is the best I could possibly do with that positioning. But otherwise than that, it does look pretty cool. Like if we just come over here real quick. The lights are working well on the floor as well. As you can see, it's shining up the wall. You can't really see it on camera, sadly. But you can see it with the human eye. So I'm going to demonstrate this remote real quick. It's got loads of different colours you can choose from. You've got red, green, blue. And you've also got like yellow and stuff like colour mixing colours. You've got so many colours to choose from. You've got really nice effects well you can use you've got this flash that goes through the colors um like in a snap way you've also got fade so they can fade through the colors you've also got smooth which i don't think i have tried yet i think the smooth feature is just slower version of the fade feature also everyone it was just raining earlier ago so the extension is nice and dry and secure as it's got two layers of bin bags around it with tape around it as well so this is nice and secure for the weather. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like and turn notifications on as it means a lot. It does mean more than you think. And I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next episode. season and Santa Claus is coming round. The Christmas snow is white on the ground. When old Santa gets into town, he'll be coming down the chimney down.